More medics and police arrived on the scene as Amy then arrived after 10 minutes. I'm here. She said as she rushed over to Sean. What's with the glum look? Amy asked as Sean was upset. We just lost another officer. Sean said as Amy was shocked. Oh. We are running so low on officers these days, we got one officer doing the job of three. Why don't I join? Amy said as she handed the keys to Sean. Here are the keys. You join the service? Sean said as he was delighted. That is a very good idea. He continued as he took the keys from her. So how do I sign up? I will be in touch. Sean said as he turned around and unlocked the main doors of the sweet shop. Sean then walked into the back of the sweet shop as he was looking at what was robbed. The forensic team arrived as they began doing their job. Sean then discovered something as he picked up a picture. It was a picture of Amy and George. Sean was shocked. I thought she liked me. Sean said as he was disappointed. He took the picture and placed it in his pocket. Sean walked out of the sweet shop as Amy was still waiting for him. Are you okay? She asked as she could see Sean was a little rattled. Just leave me alone. Sean said as he was angry. What? Amy said as she was confused. You already have a boyfriend. Sean said as he was upset. I don't. Amy said as she was defending herself. Then who is this? Sean said as he pulled the picture out of his pocket. Amy was surprised as she didn't think she had any pictures of her and George together. That's just an ex. Amy said as she was defending her relationship. He turned out to be my nephew. Sean was surprised as he was disgusted. I thought I knew you. Sean said as he walked away. Sean. It was before we met. Amy shouted as she tried to defend herself and fight for someone she loved. Don't bother joining the force, because I will veto it. Sean said as he was angry with her. We all have a past, but I want to spend the future with you. Amy suddenly said as she got down on one knee. Marry me. She said in a split second. Sean was dumbfounded as he turned around. He stood still for a minute as he was taking everything in. Yes. He said as he smiled and ran towards Amy. I love you. He said with passion as Amy replied. I love you too, you dumbass. They proceeded to kiss as everyone at the scene clapped as they were happy. Let's have a shotgun wedding. Amy said as she was desperate to get married to Sean. Um okay, once I finish here, we will go down to the wedding office and make it official. Sean said as he was calling his parents, hoping they had nothing planned for the evening. Amy was happy as she smiled as she began walking back to her flat as she needed to get changed into something nice for her big day. Sean was still on the job, talking to officers and examining the crime scene. The minutes turned into hours as Sean then looked at his watch. It was 6 p.m. and time to clock off. Okay gang. I'm done here. He said as the other officers wished him good luck at the shotgun wedding. I hope it goes well. One of his colleagues chimed in as Sean walked back to the car he had borrowed from Amy. He got into the car and began to start up the engine as he was getting nervous. I can do this. Sean said to himself as he was trying to get himself ready as he drove away. He drove down the road as he arrived at the wedding office after 20 long minutes of driving. I'm here. Sean said as he parked the car and got out. Amy was nowhere to be seen. I bet she has cold feet. Sean said as he turned the corner only to see Amy waiting for him. Hey babe. Amy said as she was in a stunning blue dress. Sorry I didn't have time to change. Sean replied as he walked up the steps and grabbed Amy's hand. It's okay. Amy said. You are a wonderful person and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Amy continued as they both walked into the office. That would be 100 pounds. The receptionist said as Sean pulled out his wallet and paid the money. Okay, the pastor will be with you shortly. The receptionist said as she pointed to the room. All of a sudden, Sean's parents turned up. 
Sean. They shouted as Sean and Amy turned around. You didn't think you would get married without your mom and dad being there. They said as they came over and gave Sean a hug. Are you sure you want to do this? Sean's mother said. Yes. Sean said nervously as he was scared. We will always be behind you. Sean's dad continued to say as Amy was ready to get married. Next? The pastor said as he came out and called for the next group. That's us. Amy confirmed as they walked into the room. Take a seat. Sean said to his parents as they sat down on the seats. We are gathered here today to marry Sean and Amy. The pastor said as he was looking at his notes. Sean and Amy then looked at each other as they smiled. Sean had uncontrollable nerves as he didn't know what to say or do. It's okay. Amy said as they held hands and looked at each other. The pastor went on and on and said all the normal things that he needed to say. Do you Sean, take Amy to be your lawful wedded wife? Sean nodded his head as he was so happy. Do you Amy, take Sean to be your lawful wedded husband? Amy smiled as she said. Yes. Well you may now kiss the bride. The pastor said as they embraced each other and snogged for two whole minutes. Okay, that's enough. Sean's father said as they stopped kissing. I'm so happy. Amy said. Well you are going to be an amazing daughter-in-law. Sean's mother said as the four of them smiled. We have a little surprise for you too. Sean's dad said as he pulled something out his pocket. Here. He said as he gave him the car keys. Sean looked amazed as she couldn't believe it. Is this what I think it is? Go outside and see it. Oh wow. Sean said as Amy was so cheerful, she ran outside as she saw the car outside. Sean. She screamed as she was joyful. She got into the car as Sean followed behind her. We are going to be so happy together. Amy said as Sean started up the car. I love you. They both said in sync as they laughed. The car's engine was rumbling as Sean's parents looked at them drive off into the distance as they started their new life together.